to my channel. So for this week's video, I am kind of sharing with you a somewhat of a fail. I originally intended to have this project be like canvas art uh, waves that I was going to put up on my living room wall and um, kind of trim it out in wood and make it look really coastal and beachy and just, you know, abstract art and uh, yeah. It didn't work out that way. But overall, I'm super pleased with how it came out and I'm excited to share with you how I got there. But without further ado, let me show you how I did it. I covered my little island with plastic wrap in order to protect it and then I squirted a layer of shaving cream. Now you don't have to have a layer this thick. I later found out that a thin layer of shaving cream will do the same thing. So then I used food coloring and I kind of mixed it around with the spatula and you don't want to over mix it. You just want to kind of swirl it around there. I wasn't not really happy with how it turned out because the, the food coloring just did not take to the canvas like I thought it was going to so I ended up trying it again. So this time I used a thinner layer and I used more food coloring to try to get it to show up darker. scraped it off again it was so light but it was darker than the other one so at this point I was a little bit frustrated because I don't know I, I still don't know why it wasn't not taking to the canvas like it was supposed to because on Pinterest it said it would work so what I ended up doing is I ended up switching to paper because I had done a trial run before that with uh, cardstock paper and the cardstock paper turns out amazing when you do it So we've come to the point in the project where it's kind of, I feel like a fail. These are as dark as I could get the actual canvases. I, I, I just feel like it looks more like tie-dye and less like waves. But the ironic thing is, is that on the cardstock paper, it comes out so beautiful and it looks exactly how I wanted it to. So what I'm going to do is I am going to frame these and I'll just paint these and use them for a different project in the future. Um, so it's not wasted. And so I purchased some frames from Walmart. These were about $7 each and I got three of them. And this is what it looks like when it's framed. It looks much nicer than the actual canvas prints that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the frames and stick them up on the wall. watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it inspires you to try this technique it is so easy so simple and I have to admit that it is so gratifying to just run your hands through the shaving cream when you're done it just brings me back to my elementary school days 
Um, I don't know if anybody else did this. When you were in school on the last day, um, the teacher would always give us a little squirt of shaving cream and we would clean our desks with the shaving cream and just kind of like entertain ourselves with like the squishiness and the coolness of the shaving cream. I don't know if anybody else did that in school. Let me know if, if you guys did. I, I don't know if I'm just the weird one, but it just takes me back to simpler days when the highlight of my year was getting to play in shaving cream on my school desk. Anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys in the next video, as always. Bye!